hi everybody i'm sorry i'm gonna have to come live on the spot because it is so much going on right here right now here in america i have been swept away the last 10 days with our political movement that we have going on so many exciting things so many history making moments that i am just so wrapped up in and so excited for the future um if you're in America, don't forget to register, vote, get everyone you know. It's time for women to show up and show out. And so I'm so excited about it. So I had a brief moment. I'm sorry if you hear the air conditioner going. I live in the South. It's hot. But I wanted to come in here because there's so much stuff going on with Harry and Megan. I, I just don't have time to post everything. So I'm like, I have a couple minutes. I'm waiting. So let's go ahead and post about Harry and Megan and all the excited things that they have going on. First of all, our girl Megan was named as an innovative change maker along with like Oprah Winfrey, Kamala Harris, Chris Jenner, a host of other really strong brave. I think Hillary Clinton was on there um, for 2024. So congrats to Megan to continually being acknowledged by other powerful women. We got to see Megan out with um, her friends at a beautiful lunch and supporting a friend that she has been friends with for two decades and a lots of other other friends that was there who were speaking and she was supporting them and their business and that's something that Megan has always done is support women business so it was really good to see her she looked beautiful as always she always has that California chic style I love it and then <laughs> um we get to see um Harry and Megan this coming Sunday, they're going to be doing a sit-down interview about uh, protecting our children and the internet. And I know um, my children are grown at this point, but you still get worried about what are they seeing and what are they being influenced about? What podcasts are they hearing? Because sometimes that stuff can almost become like indoctrinating your, your children. So especially our young men. So I'm always like interested in what they're listening to and trying to see their point of view. But um, as time goes on, things are just getting harder and harder to raise children and starting young and younger and younger. So I'm so proud of Harry and Meghan for continuing to fight the good fight and to use their name, their star power to bring attention to these really important um, causes. So I'm so, 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 so proud of Harry and Meghan. And I'm so excited to see this interview. They look good. They look fresh. They're just such a dynamic team. And we need people like them in the world. I, I just think they're such powerhouses like Barack Obama and um, First Lady Michelle Obama. So I'm just excited to see all the great things that they are going to be doing. Um, and to see this interview, of course, you know, the haters are going to hate and have something negative to say, but I just feel like the hate is always loud, but it's just becoming, it's starting to be just be like annoying little buzzers. Like people understand that the UK is going to hate because there's, they have nothing else going on. And then <laughs> I love Harry and Meghan. They be quiet and then they come out with a one, two, three punch and they knock them out. And then we found out that they have been asked to come and they've accepted to go to Columbia by the vice president. And I love when they do tours <laughs> because we get to see them back to back. And I just love all the work that they're doing. And I love to, it shows, sorry if my phone is shaking, but it also shows that um, whatever um, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And the UK has thrown everything they can in Harry and Meghan and they continue to thrive. And they continue to be sought after. People want them to come. People want them to um, bring their energy and their star power. Now, they're saying, oh, Columbia is dangerous. Well, why can you take her there, but she won't come to the UK? Yes, she would rather go to Columbia because her life hasn't been threatened. Her life is threatened in the UK, and people are in jail for it right now. And then they say, well, uh, Sophia went there last year. Nobody knew and nobody cared. Like, she went, but nobody cared. <laughs> Sophia might have went, but it wasn't news. I guarantee you, this is going to be global news when Harry and Meghan go. And that's why people want them there, because they bring attention. They have that magic, that star power. They have that Diana glow on them that the whole world will be watching and paying attention. And I love that they use their name and their magic to sprinkle on causes that are important, on organizations and countries and people who are important. And I just love that about Harry and Meghan. So I'm excited about this tour. I love it. I'm excited to learn more about um, 
Columbia. I'm, I'm just, I'm excited about to learn about the organizations they're going to be doing. I've, I've been looking up this vice president. I didn't even know a, that they, Columbia had a, a black female, you know, a female black um, vice president. So I've been looking her up and I'm impressed what I'm just seeing so far. And so I'm just excited. And also, I just love to see the haters cry. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You all are inviting Harry and Meghan. I thought nobody liked them. <laughs> Edgel Eleven is already. She's like, what? What is going on? I just came from the bar, and someone said they're going to Colombia. <laughs> I guarantee you, the UK press will send a representative. Even though they're like, they're not royals. They're not, ro honey. We know they're not royals because Harry and Meghan are actually working. <laughs> We know they not royals, baby. We know this is not a royal tour because y'all, y'all royal family don't do no tours. <laughs> Nobody wants you. Number one, you're not getting invited. When y'all do show up, y'all get booed or it gets absolutely no coverage. <laughs> so we know that it's not a royal tour. But anyway, we're so excited for Harry and Meghan. And I will be coming back and reporting even more when we get more information. So for now, y'all be blessed.